contrite heart Humbly I surrender all that I am I want to learn from you Please draw me close to you Help me share your love and grace in all I do Lord, I come before you with contrite heart Humbly I surrender all that I am I want to learn from you Please draw me close to you Let me share your love and grace in all I do Oh Lord, transform me Change my heart completely to be more like you Oh Lord, renew me Heal my mind and broken heart today I want to be and to do what you commanded And be filled with the Spirit every day to serve you wherever you may lead me I want to serve you till the very end Oh Lord, transform me Change my heart completely to be more like you Oh Lord, renew me Heal my mind and broken heart today Shine a light to a darkened world And always live the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more Sabbath to everyone. May God bless you and thank you so much for joining us this evening. We thank God for his Sabbath. 
Amen. The songwriter says, O day of rest and gladness. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that you are taking time off tonight and spending time with us, your Youth Life family. I ask that you please like and share the page, invite a friend, um, let them know that we are here tonight and again we are discussing an important topic. Our topic for discussion tonight is too broken to be a vessel. Can somebody be, um, be too broken to be used by God? Hmm. Can we go so far that God cannot forgive us? Um, tonight we will discuss that topic. And again, as usual, we need your help in discussing um, the topic. Um, so we are asking that you would comment um, as we go through the program. But before we go any further, I think it, it will be important that you would get familiar with um, your guests this evening. So we'll start with the lady to my right, um, and then we'll move over as every member um, would every member would tell you who they are um, and why they are on the program this evening. Happy Sabbath to all and, have, and good night. I am Sally Palmer. I am a guidance counselor and psychologist by profession. I'm a child of God and I love helping God's people to be the best that they can be. Um, good night everyone. My name is Lyndon Richardson. I'm 16 years old. I'm a student at the Grenada Seventh-day Comprehensive School. Um, I love helping people and love seeing them move forward. Good night and happy Sabbath to all our viewers. My name is Sabrina Beggs and I'm a science teacher. I teach at the Grenada SDA Comprehensive School and I always like when I get the opportunity to share God's word with others so that they too can enjoy the blessings that he has in store. All right, thank you. So tonight we have Sally and Lyndon um, and Mrs. Vex. They are qualified. Um, Mrs. Palmer is a psychologist um, by profession, um, very capable lady, and they will guide us this evening.
And Dario, happy Sabbath. Hymn number 598. Watch his sins. Watch his sins. With eyelids wait, um, waking, lo, the power of heaven are shaken. All right, so we're um, asking you at home to join us as we um, praise God and we worship Him and we adore Him. Um, just as we sing, sing with us. Heaven will hear your voices. Watch. He sings. Again, join us at home. Let us sing together. Let's make the chords of heaven ring. Um, join us and praise God with us. Until then, my heart will go on. Amen. Amen. And 
Um, the blessed thing about, I think, the version I have there on the tablet has two. It's two verses. It's two verses. Yes, two verses. Uh, so she's blessed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can sing all yeah. the both verses, yes. all right? Yes. Until then. Oh, yeah. Until then. My heart can sing when I pause to remember. A heartache's hair is but a stepping step stool. Along a trail that's winding always upwards. upwards. This troubled world is not, not my final home. home. Amen. 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 Died he for me who caused his pain, for me who him to death pursued. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, should die for me? Amen. That's 
a sweet song. Amazing love. You know, Jesus died for us again. I think that falls in line, in sync if our discussion this evening to yeah. broken to be a vessel. Man. I am anticipating a good discussion um, tonight. So let's choose another song so we could give God some more praise tonight. And Sister Joy is asking for hymn number 532, Day by Day, and which is passing moment. moment. One of my favorites mm -hmm. as well. Strength I find. Good song. Yes. Good song. Yes. To meet my trials, trials yeah. trusting in my father's yes. wise bestowment. I have no care, cause God. for worry or for fear. He whose mm -hmm. heart is kind beyond all measure gives unto each day what he deems best. Amen. Amen. Loving Amen. needs part of pain and pleasure, mingling toil with peace and rest. Changes not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Number 100. At home, please join us as we praise God, as we glorify God, as we lift up his name this evening. Oh, 
great, great, great is thy faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Morning by morning. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Amen. Amen. I think all of us tonight can indeed agree that God is faithful. Amen. And we thank God for his faithfulness. Um, and like the writer says, all I have needed, thy hand have provided. All right, so we'll take um, at least two or three more songs. Um, so therefore, who? What's the next song that we'll take? That's right. Hymn number four four nine. Never part again. All right. <laughs> Let's try that one. All right. Um, and that one is one that that, that goes with parts, right? <laughs> um, so Linda, we want to hear the bass, right, Linda? <laughs> All right, so we'll try that one. And at home, join us. Um, let's try something at home that if you join us, we will sing that song much better. All right? So at home, join. let's try it tonight. Join us as we sing it, and you will hear how well it will be sung this evening. Never part again. There is a land of pure delight where bliss eternal reigns. Infinite day excludes the night and pleasures banish pain. Yes. Very nice song. Mercy, Lord. <laughs> well, 
didn't see the Lord. Oh, right. so <laughs> um, well, choose one that we know, maybe 523. Yeah, yeah 523. Yeah. My faith has found a resting place. Yes. Yes. yes, my faith has found a resting place. And I think that's a good song to yeah. end our singing on tonight. Amen. Based upon, you know, our discussion tonight. Yes. My faith has found a resting place. Not in a man-made creed. I can preach that one to next Amen. Amen. I trust the ever-living one that ye for me should plead. I need Amen. no other evidence. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus, Jesus died Amen. and rose again for me. Amen. 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 That's good assurance. Yes. That's good assurance. That's solid assurance. Amen. So we'll ask um, those who join us Join us again um, at home. Join us again as we sing and we praise God together as we do our last song tonight. My faith has found a resting place. tonight as we praise God and we glorify him. I believe that the chords of heaven were ringing. Um, we sung here, you sung at home, and I believe that the angels, the angels joined us as we praised and glorified the Amen. Father in heaven. Amen. Yeah. Uh, this evening we are discussing an important subject. And our topic for discussion this evening is too broken to be a vessel. Mm -hmm. Too broken to be a vessel. Mm -hmm. Can we be too broken to be used by God? Mm -hmm. Can we go too far and God cannot save us? Um, we'll discuss that and much more tonight as we, from the experience of the panelists and, and from your experience, the Word of God, we believe that we will be motivated rejuvenated to continue pressing on um one songwriter says i'm pressing on the yeah, upward way, way you know no heights i'm gaining every day yes. um just before we enter our discussion we would like to share with you some things that are happening around our conference allow me to tell you tonight in Grenada, there is always something happening. Yes. Uh, always yes. something yes. happening. Always a little excitement. Mm -hmm. Something around the place. So tonight we want to share with you a few things that um, are happening around um, the conference. Um, the Holy Spirit Week is beginning on Sabbath. On Sabbath. Well, to, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. So almost every church, well, or every church on the island should be involved in Holy Spirit Week, yes. and the pulpits would be on fire. Amen. The pastors, the laymen would be preaching. So just visit any Adventist church near you, yes. whether you are in the um, the north, 
um, that is Sotez or you are in the south. I think the furthest stretch in the south there might be where Maranatha Belmont. I believe so. Well, I, I hope I, so. I, I, I hope I correct. That's it, that's it. <laughs> and, and then whether you are in the west, you are in Victoria, or whether you are in the east, St. David's or Kosho, um, mm -hmm. area, wherever you are, visit an Adventist church. Join us. We would be extremely happy to have you. Amen. Um, also, um, I have good news. I was told that the Grenada Conference Dental Clinic would be official officially opened on Monday the 13th of January. Right. So Amen. from 8 a.m. Um, how you call that? Is Church Street? Church Street, yes. Church Street upstairs the ad for bookstore. Yes. Um, you go there um, and or you could call 435-2458. 435-2458. Make your appointments. Um, or you can just come and visit um, because it's your dental clinic. Come visit. Get the ex get the excitement by just seeing the place. Invite a friend. Again, our dental clinic is now open, officially open on Monday. Or we say reopen. Reopen. Reopen on Monday, the thirteenth of January at eight a.m. Um, and Pastor, it's called the Church Street Dental Clinic. All right, so the name is the Church Street Dental, Dental Clinic. Clinic. All yes. right, so we have it locked. So look for that. <laughs> look for that. All right, look for Church Street Dental, Dental Clinic. Clinic. Yes. All right. Um, tomorrow I was told that um the health individuals, health volunteers, health leaders around the island should be meeting at Grenville for three p.m. Um, so that they could discuss they could put their military strategy on how to attack the um the illnesses and how to motivate people around the triad state of grenada Cariku and Peter martinic to live healthier and happier lives okay. now we have sister palmer who is a youth at heart youth ministry in her board in her soul in her <laughs> yes. <F> mercy <laughs> lord <laughs> All right, well, she you is a youth. Exactly, um, quite agree. Yes, I says I apologize. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, sis, what is happening next week, Sabbath? Oh, next Sabbath, Pastor, for the whole day from 9 until sunset, we'll be having our AY Summit at the St. George's SDA Church, Achibala Venue. It starts at 9 and it continues until sunset. No. Once you are a part of the youth ministry of your church, your meeting place next Sabbath would be at the SDA Church in St. George's yes, Archibald Avenue. Amen. Yes. And that's the place to be. Um, we have two dynamic, energetic youth leaders um, in Grenada, Pastor Lyons and Pastor Jimmy Gordon. Yes. Um, and yes. the other youth leaders around the marshalling the troops at St. George's. I am seeing a youth calendar. I cannot say much at this time. It's not my prerogative to say much, but I'm seeing a lot of excitement. Yes. And I like excitement. Yes. A lot of excitement happening within Grenada when it comes to youth ministry. Yes. Man, these two men have come with a new burst, a new burst of boost of or burst of energy, enthusiasm, yeah. and they're taking youth ministry by storm. Um, and when we see the posters, but you must get excited. Yes. Yes. Um, so those of you who are youth leaders, come. Youth at heart, come. You you either in the Pathfinder, the Adventure, Master Guide, PLA, um, PIA, um, whatever. Come. Sponsors as Sp well. Um, AY sponsors, yes. come. Yes. Because when you leave St. George's on the 18th, your district will not be the same. Amen. I expect when they go down to St. George's and they come back to the north, the north is on fire. fire. And we have to get all fire extinguishers around Grenada <laughs> to try to put calm down the north. All right, so please make it a date. Please organize transportation and go down to St. George's as you would be you know, motivated to work in for the Lord. Mm -hmm. There are other things happening around Green Away. We cannot say all of them tonight, but again, a lot is happening. Yes. Let me ask you a question tonight, my friends, and also um, panelists, and you don't have to answer now. My question is, have you ever felt so disappointed? 
Have you ever f come to the place where you believe that you have disappointed God? And that you are filthy and too dirty and that God cannot forgive you? Have you gotten to the place where you believe you have disappointed God bad? And, he, and you believe or you think that he no longer loves you? Or you, he no longer has use for you in his service? And because of your dirtiness or how filthy you see yourself, you do not see yourself as one who can serve him? Have you ever gone, gotten to that stage? Have you looked at a mistake and thought to yourself, there is no way God will forgive me after this one? Have you made a mistake and thought, there is no way I will recover from this one? I must admit, these are some of the very, um, these are some of the very thoughts that must have crossed the minds of some of our biblical stalwarts. Yeah. You think about it. Noah was a drunkard. Mm -hmm. jo Jacob, man, not only was a liar, I think he was a he was a deceiver. Mm -hmm. This yeah. man was, he was a thief. Yeah, man, that man was a, a special thief. I mean to. <laughs> To take um, goats full and put, I mean, that, that going far beyond. Um, Samson was a womanizer. Mm -hmm. yes. And when we look at Samson in our day, Samson would have been a conference president or a pastor. You understand? Mm. <laughs> a, a, a womanizer. Um, Elijah was suicidal. This one I cannot understand, Pastor. Wow. He, he became suicidal over a woman. Yes. A, a, a little weak woman made him suicidal. <laughs> made him suicidal. Wow. And a lot of mercy. And then you have Moses was a stutterer. Mm -hmm. Man, bad. Yes. The Samaritan woman, it is said that she was married and divorced more than once. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Peter denied Christ. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about people like David and, mm -hmm. and Solomon. Um, just, this, um, just this week, I was speaking to one of my elders in the district. I was speaking about Abraham. And they said, it was the elder telling me jovially that when Abraham's wife told him to go with the other woman, he was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but Abraham made his mistake. Yes. All right? Yes. Um, yes. So therefore... Even biblical writers made their mistakes, and, and stalwarts of the Bible, they made their mistake. Yes. They might have felt and had the same thought that many of us, if not all of us, would have at one point in our Christian experience. Yes. God still helped them and used them for his name, honor, and glory. True. Tonight, if you want to find out more, of how God can use the depressed, the mm -hmm. suicidal, how God can use and change around the dirtiest person, wash them and make them into a child of God. If you tonight are concerned about how God can turn a drunkard into a preacher, yeah. that's what we are discussing tonight. Amen. Are you too broken to be a vessel. But before we go any further, I think we need to hear some good gospel music. Amen. So at this time, we'll pause for some good gospel music and we'll come back as we have our quiz and then enter our discussion.
Oh, what lovely singing. Sister and Brother George from the Richmond Seventh-day Adventist Church. Thank you so much for this lovely item of music. Seeing a husband and wife in ministry together. Yes, husband yes. playing, wife singing. That's, that's, that's sweet. Yes. That's sweet. Um, continue serving God and giving God all the glory and praise Amen. through Amen. your ministry. Amen. Tonight, let's hail some persons out. We have Ricardo in the house. Yes. Um, he's saying happy yes. Sabbath. In oh, Different I guess languages. that's great. That's the language. Yes. Yes. I, hope, I, hope, I hope that's not... Um, um, Typo, right? No, that's no. joking. That's joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ricardo, man, happy Sabbath. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, we have Hermish Daniel in the house. Yes. Hermish, happy yes. Sabbath. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, who do we have again? Uh, we have Charmin Behari. Yes, Charmin. And she is a regular. Yes. <clears throat> Charmin, may God continue to bless you. And thank you for joining us. We have Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda Belfon. Happy night, Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to you. Mm -hmm. um, we have Husby Adams. Happy, happy Sabbath. Sabbath to happy you. Sabbath. Yes. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Amen. We have Alric Henry. Henry. Uh, happy yes, Sabbath. Oh happy Lord. Sabbath. Happy we Sabbath, have sir. Sister Kizzy Fletcher. Jones in the house. And she said happy Sabbath to all. She's happy Sabbath. She works at our school as well. So oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Happy yes. Sabbath. <laughs> happy Sabbath. Yes. Um, we have Rickson. Um, Jilks. 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 Yes. Happy Sabbath. I could know who the teachers are. They can pronounce the names properly. Happy Sabbath yes. to you. Um, we have Cynthia Francois with us. Happy yes. Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Thank yes. you for joining us. And remember to do what? Like and, and share. share. Yes. Please like and share the page. Amen. We have Priscilla, Priscilla George. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much for um, joining us. We have Glenda. Glenda. Glenda from Suriname. Um, happy, I Sabbath. happy Sabbath. I wish I could have spoken some Surinamese or something. French. Or, French. Um, happy Sabbath. And if you speak in French, because I think there's a French shit in Suriname, yeah, yeah. Bon Sabbath. Yeah. Um, Jennifer <laughs> Savre, Savre from St. Lucia, um, a wonderful lady. Both she and her husband are stalwarts in the house of faith. Amen. Sister, right. happy Sabbath. Yes. And give Mary Seal my love um, and my blessings. Then we have Princess, Princess Rika. Rika. Yes, Somerset. Somerset. Yes. yes, from the Grenadines. Yes. Yes. She's so, from Caribou, but she lives in Grenada now. Okay, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Alright, so sis, welcome to Grenada. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Mr. Avian, happy Sabbath. Yes. Happy Sabbath. Um, yes. happy Sabbath. Um, we have Sister Linda, Linda Fari. Fari. Happy mm -hmm. Sabbath. Sabbath. And yes. sis, Happy New Year to you. Thank, uh, you. thank you so much. Yes, um, we have Ashton Williams. Williams. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, and we have Francisca, Francisca Puppy. Um, happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Yes. And thank you so much, so much, so much for joining us. We really appreciate you guys joining us Amen. tonight. We have yes. Ruth Dakota Philip. A happy Sabbath. Thank you so much for joining us. We have Leota Atkins Brathwaite. Happy, happy Sabbath. Sabbath. I'm seeing a nice name here, Cassandra Isidore. Yes. Happy oh. Sabbath. <laughs> happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Thank happy you so Sabbath. much for joining us. We really, really yeah. um, appreciate um, everybody joining us. We have Debbie Phillip. Yes. We have Jen Cynthia, Cynthia Williams. Williams. From St. Yes. Kitts. From St. Kitts. Happy, happy Sabbath. Sabbath. And thank you for joining us. We have, we have Nancy, Mrs. Hamlet, Hamlet, a teacher yes. from our school again. Um, thank you for joining us. We have... <laughs> Nos Thomas, Eminem yes. Thomas. Happy Sabbath from and Florida. Florida. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for watching us, sis. We, uh, we really appreciate um, Hi, Sister D. Happy Sabbath. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sister Sister yeah. Happy Sabbath. Thanks for joining us. And, and I know she's smiling. Huh? Yes. What do you want? She's smiling. <laughs> Happy yeah. Sabbath. We have Cheryl McQueen. McQueen. Happy, Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Thank you so much for um, joining us. We really appreciate everybody for joining us. Um, we're excited for our discussion tonight. Yes. Again, we're saying please like, like and share, share the page. page. Like and share. Now, tonight we are entering our quiz. Now, I, I, that's two things I love on Youth Live is street talk and quiz. The discussion is nicer, yeah. but for me, the excitement is in street <laughs> talk and in the, the quiz. quiz. Yes. So I always wait for the quiz until they told me I can't participate because I'm a pastor. But I really love the quiz. All right, so tonight, 
we have some questions for you. Um, we want the first three persons to answer. So now put, place your hands on your keyboard. If you are using your phones, nah, we do it like this. Young people, we type like this. We don't do this, right? So <laughs> put your hands on your phone. Get ready for us to engage in the quiz tonight. Miss, so you'll do the, um, Miss Sabrina, you'll do the first question. Um, and again, it is fill in the blanks. Let's see those who will be able to answer. All right, sir. So we have a fill in the blanks. Question one. Job chapter 1 verse 1. There was a man in the land of Blank, Blank whose name was Job. And that man was Blank, Blank and upright and one that Blank God and eschewed Blank. All right. So I'm going to read it one yes, more time. Yes, that, that would be nice. There was a man in the land of, and you fill in the blank there, whose name was Job, and that man was, another blank space, uh -huh. and upright. Uh -huh. And one that, another blank space, God, and eschewed another blank space. All right, so let's see who... Um, so therefore you need to have four wow wow wow, wow. all right so let's see if somebody else um, wow, would wow, give wow, us an, an yeah. answer again so Rondell Wonder. Wilson says us perfect, perfect fear, fear evil. evil all right let's see who else um, Ricardo oh. says not oh, perfect, perfect fear, fear evil. evil one more person one more person quickly and then um, our brother would read the second um, okay um, Paul Robertson happy Sabbath thank you happy Sabbath to you sir uh, watching yeah. from Joyce, the cold Joyce, um, Joyce and the first say was perfect, perfect fair yeah. evil all right Joyce and I think it was who was Nova. first no, um, Nova right Nova is saying mm -hmm. um, Oz perfect you're correct so, so Rondell, Sandy, yes. um, Joyce, and yes. um, Nova, you are correct. Yes. All right. Um, <clears throat> now there are persons who one person is saying that you're watching from the cold. Yes. Allow me to tell you that Grenada is nice and warm. <laughs> so if you just want to escape the cold, come down to Grenada, right? Yes. Good place to for a vacation at this time, especially if you're in the cold. All right, Ruth Dakota, you correct. You have one, two of the words. Um, all right, so let's go um, to the second question. Um, second question. All right. So question number two. <clears throat> Before the first test in the book of Job, how many sons did Job have? Again. Before the first test in the book of Job, how many sons did Job have? A, six. Mm -hmm. B, 11. C, 10, and D, 7. Wow. All right, Ricardo says seven. 7. All right, let's see, let's see. At least two more persons. No, no says 7. seven. Yes. Let's see. I said 7 because I believe 7 is God's favorite number. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. One more person quickly. Let's see. Um, would, would you say 10? Well, uh, it's A, 6, B, 11, C, 10, and D, 7. All right, Shamin said seven. seven and yes. this was the answer. The answer is indeed seven, and you can find that in Job one verse two. All right, the answer is seven. Um, Jacentio, thank you so much. Um, Rondell, you are correct. Um, and thank you so much for sharing with us. So our technicians are working on the delay at this time. So thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, the that there is a delay. Thank you so much. The other question, sir. Um, choose the correct names of two of Job's friends who paid him who paid him a visit. All right. A. Eliphaz and Jabez. B. Zophar and Nahum. C. Elihu and Bildad. D. Zophar and Bildad. So I'll repeat. Choose the correct names of two of Job's friends who paid him a visit. A. Eliphaz and Jabez. B. Zophar and Nahum. C. Elihu and Bildad. D. Zophar and Bildad. All right. Um, so you choose A, B, C, or D. Um, um, which one? Is it, would it be A? Would it be B? Would it be C? Somebody said D. All Ricardo right. Ricardo is saying D. Ricardo, man. Ricardo, I wonder if you have our um, questions tonight. <laughs> All right. But let's see if you are correct. We'll tell you if you are correct just now. 
Um, Lovia said C. Uh, Jasem said C. Sherry said C. Um, D. Sorry. Um, Yolanda A. Um, Joyce Sandiford said C. Naz Williams said C. All right, so we have answers coming in. And the correct answer is D. D. The correct answer is D. D. And you can find it in Job chapter 2 and verse 11. 11. Right, because his three friends are called? Zophar. Huh? Repeat. Um, his three Zophar. friends, the, the name of his oh. three friends. Um, Zophar, Bildad, Eliphaz, and Travis, and Nahum. No. Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar. 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 So these are the Job's three oh. friends. Thank you so much. The answer is D. So all those who are D, you are correct. So Miss, we'll go for number four. List the <coughs> names of Job's three friends. List the names of Job's three friends. All right. List the names of Job's fr three, three friends. friends. Yes. All right. So list them quickly. My and that one should be very easy, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, that one should be very easy. List the names of Job's three friends. Mm -hmm. And Linda, you'll do the next question. And then sis, you'll do the other one. Yes. All right. So let's see who will be the first person to give us that. Job's three, three friends. friends. And I will help you. Wow. Ricardo. Ricardo, man, you on fire. Nas Williams. <laughs> Nas Williams, yes sir. And Nas, you on fire. Rondell Williams on fire. All right, good, 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 good. Let's see. So far, you guys have been doing well. Let's see if you will slow down. Let's see, let's see. All right, so let's do number four. Lyndon? Number five, sorry, number five. The answer was the answer. Yes, the answer. Was correct, Eliphaz, Bildad, and so far you can find that in Job chapter 2, verse 11. All right, okay, so you are correct. Mm -hmm. All right, so number five. What did these friends of Job do when they saw him from afar but did not recognize him? A. They went down in sackcloth and ashes. B. The call, they called down judgment on him. C. They rejoiced because he was paying for his sins. And D, they lifted up their voices and wept. What did these friends of Job do when they saw him from afar but did not recognize him? A, they went down in sackcloth and ashes. B, they called down judgment on him. C, they rejoiced because he was paying for his sins. And D, they lifted up their voices and wept. Man, the folks excited. The answers Sorry. coming in already. Joy Sanified is saying D. D. Um, Ricardo is saying A. a. Um, Mel um, is saying A. Um, and Mel is ensuring that she's saying 5A. Five, five a. A. <laughs> All right, Mel. And Le Le Leota is saying A. a. Sherry is saying is also saying A. 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 Yes. Um, Charmaine is saying A. a. Um... <clears throat> um Thomas is saying A, Nas is saying D. All right, so what is the answer? Uh, the correct answer is D. They lifted up their voices and wept. And wept. Job, chapter 2 and verse 12. Job 2 and, and Wendy and you are correct. So we'll go from to number 6. All right, so number 6. Reacting to the complete and abrupt desolation of his life, what does Job's wife suggested Job do? Reacting to the complete and abrupt desolation of his life, what does Job's wife suggest Job do? Mm -hmm. So that's when you have to give us the answer for yes. number six. Yeah, so what's no A, B, C, or D. You have to say what she told him to do. What did you, what advice did Job wife. Um, wife give him? Okay. Um, go to courts and buy a fridge. Um, <laughs> what advice did she give him? We're looking for it. All right, Ricardo, God. Says, Ricardo God on fire, all right. Uh, um, you on fire, Rondell on fire, um, Yolanda. Yolanda is answering question five still. Okay, question five. And you correct for question five, but yes. question six is different. All right. All right, so the answer is cause God, God and die. die. Yes. And you can find that in Job 2 and verse 9. All right, Job 2 and verse 9 yes. and 7 says... Job 2 
chapter Job chapter 2, verse 4 to 6. God gave Job into Satan's hand, but what did he tell Satan he couldn't do? God gave Job into Satan's hand, but what did he tell Satan he couldn't do? All right, so that's seven. Let's see what your answer would be. Um, you correct Jenny, Patricia, um, Judy. Um, Judy, Jeannie, okay. you are correct. Christiana, you are correct. Um, Cassie, you are correct. Um, but we would like the answer for question seven. Question seven. seven. All right. What did God tell Job that, sorry, what did God tell Satan mm -hmm. that he couldn't do to Job? Yes. All right. Right. Take his Rondell. life. All right, yeah. Rondell. Okay, yes. Rondell, the fingers getting a little quicker. All right, good stuff, good stuff. All right, um, anybody else can um, tell us? Um, Sister Shama, thank you. May God bless you. Good night good to night, you. Good night, All right. Um, Rachel. Rachel says, take, take his, his life. life. Um, says, take, take his, his life. life. You, okay, oh, okay Mel. Yes. Um, let's go again. Shaman Bihari says, take his life. Cassandra says, take his life. Gertrude says, don't touch his life. Um, I guess different versions don't touch his life. Take his life. <laughs> yes. All right, but you all are uh, correct. Spare his life. Spare his life. Yes. That might be the new English translation, <laughs> spare his life. But you all are correct. Yes. Um, God told Satan that he couldn't Could kill. Um, mm -hmm. He didn't have the Could power to do. kill um, Job. Job. You are yes. correct. So we'll say, um, Sister Sabrina Beg, Beg, sorry, number eight, la number eight and last, last question for tonight. Final question. Let's see who will be first. Now, let me do it this way. I, I like to, when I play games, sometimes I do, I do it this way. The winner of that question takes all. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, will that question takes yeah. all. Um, if you can answer that question first, you are the champion for the night. All right. All right. So, so let's see who. Where were Job's sons and daughters feasting and drinking wine when Job's first test occurred? Uh huh. Where were Job's sons and daughters feasting and drinking wine when Job's first test occurred? A. On the farm. B. In the family's guest house. C. In the oldest brother's house. Or D. In the palace. A on the farm, B in the family's guest house, C in the oldest brother's house, or D in the palace. All right, the answers are coming in, man. The fingers are quick. Sister Nova is uh, saying B. All right, so Nova. But who was the first person Sister to answer? Sister Nova. Sister Nova. So Nova was the first person yeah, to answer. Right. She Justin, said B. Said mm -hmm. C. Um, Justin Fear said C. Um, Homer mm -hmm. said B. Mm -hmm. Joyce Sandiford said C. Um, who, but who, um, what's the correct answer? The correct C. answer is C. So who was the first All C? His brother's house. I think that it was Jason. Jason. Yes. Well, you are the winner for tonight. So yes. congratulations, Jason, <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us as we go through the quiz. I pray by God's grace that next week you'll join us again as we go through an, an other exciting quiz. Again, I really enjoyed tonight. Amen. Yeah, I really enjoyed the quiz. Uh, I like this Bible quiz and so forth. At church, we used to do them before AY. And yes. I'm not sure in Green Aid, but I said, Lucia, we do Bible boxing, yes. um, Bible charge, yes. and you know, this is exciting yes. as a young person. Yes. So thank you for joining us tonight. Now, tonight, we are going into our discussion. Now, tonight, we are discussing too broken to be a vessel. Too broken to be a vessel. Now, here my scenario tonight. Sam has been employed at his company for the past five years. Although he is a well-respected employee, his boss caught him stealing company's goods. Sam hurriedly explained that this is the first time he has done this due to unfortunate situations at home. Should Sam's employer really buy that story? How can he ever trust Sam again? Not to mention he was just about to tell Sam he's given him a, pro a promotion. Wow. Were you the employer? Were you Sam's boss? What would you do? <laughs> That's a good question. Now, um, while the panelists are thinking what would they do, 
Um, you tell me what would you do um, to Sam? Would you spare Sam? Uh, or you say, Sam, you're fired. What would you do? Um, and there is a, a third option that's coming up in my mind that I, I don't want to share yet. Um, but what would you do? All right, so which one of the panelists would open the bat in tonight? What would you do? Which one? Would it be Sabrina? Would it be Lyndon? Would it be Sister Sally and Pamela? Who would open the bat in tonight? Before any rash decision is made on my part as the boss, right. I would investigate the matter further because, I mean, he's been working with me for the past five years. Right. And um, everybody in the company is seeing him as a well-respected employee. Right. And now out of the blue, I caught him stealing. Right. I wouldn't just go right out and say, you're fired, although that might be at the back of my mind. But the rational side of me would investigate the matter as to why he was stealing, right? All right. Well, he told us why he was stealing. They were stealing due to unfortunate situations at home. But is that really the case? Well, again... <laughs> so that is why I would have to find out if that is really the case. Okay. And uh, um, I don't think I will promote him. Okay. Now, um, as a counselor, questions are coming up. <laughs> I can ask you. All right. So, Lyndon, what would you do? Well, I can uh, side in with this <laughs> Beggs. I would cancel the promotion. Are you siding with her because she's your teacher? Uh, no, no. Really. <laughs> yes. So I would, I would cancel the promotion right. so that he would learn that stealing is bad. And, uh, you know, I would just cancel the promotion and he will have to work again for him to be promoted. That is All my right. Way. Okay. Yes. Step on. Well, um... At first, I may or would be upset mm -hmm. um, because here I would have put my trust in him. Mm -hmm. And um, like um, Sister Beggs and Brother Richardson, I would do my own investigation to find out if that was really the first time. Okay. Also, um, I would have a chat with him. Okay. Um, let him know, letting him know that based on the relationship that exists between the both of us. Mm -hmm. He should have uh, feel free enough to come and talk to me if there's a situation home yes. that really warrants him having a little extra something. Yes. Right. And instead of stealing, um, maybe he could have gotten it free or even more. Um, I would put him on a probation. Okay. I would give him the promotion, but on a probation. Okay. All right. And, right. and observe him during that promotion, um, then give him the promotion, but still give him some conditions. Because okay. we know um, human beings, yes. they can pretend. So right. I may give him a six months probation, or maybe a year. Because sometimes you can pretend for that length of time, but <laughs> um, maybe a month or two. But if it was a... Uh, a habitual something. Yes. Right. Eventually, he's gonna go back to the stealing. Okay. And, yeah, yes. but I wouldn't cancel the um the promotion of the back. All right. Without okay. first getting a better understanding Standing. as to what is really going on, because okay. it could be genuine. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. Good. Now we have some persons giving some greetings. So we have Isan um, Fraser. Saying happy Sabbath. He's saying happy Sabbath. So happy Sabbath. Um, somebody somewhere in the um, comments said that he should ask. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. I saw the comment. Yeah, he should have asked. Um, <clears throat> all right. So we, I'm getting that the three of you are agreeing that you would not fire him. Right. Mm -hmm. You would do some investigation yes. um, to find out whether or not you know that was something that he has done before right. um, yes. whether or not the situation is a genuine one, um, yes. one. Mm -hmm. um, I think Sister Papa brought in another caveat where she said that she would um, promote him but on probation, but on probation. Yeah. Um, Ruth <laughs> Dakota Philip is saying no promotion and that will have a negative impact on, on other employees, employees. Mm -hmm. alright so let's discuss that so um, Ruth I would, uh, um, um, 
there's another caveat you're sharing. Why do you think it would have an other or negative impact on other um, employees? So just share with us um, so that we can discuss. Yes. We have show B. Sabbath. Do doctor yeah. saying um, happy Sabbath from, from the Philippines. Philippines. Wow. Yes. Happy Sabbath, my brother. Yes. And may God bless you. Yeah. Um, all right. So. <clears throat> but Pastor, um, mm -hmm. I'm seeing it different to Sister um, um, Philip yes. in the sense that um, it will show the rest of my employees that, hey, we have a really genuine boss, a boss mm -hmm. who cares. Despite our mistakes and our faults, mm -hmm. here is a boss who is willing to still invest in us and right. still keep us on. And I think um, doing this will help others to see, as a Christian, we we'll see Christ. Because on a daily basis, we would have let down Christ. Yes, we, we would have done things that would have hurt him over and over. But yet for all, once we go to him and ask for forgiveness, and even maybe before, his love for us is never ending. Right. So I think if we try to practice, for me, I try my best to practice um, putting people, asking myself, if I were in that situation, okay. what would I have liked for the person to do? And that in itself helped me to make a decision. Yes, I might be upset. Yes, it would, I would think about the business, but we're dealing with, with people. Okay. And how you treat people could determine whether your business falls or, or close okay yeah. all right so we'll come back um again and discuss that a little more okay. um but at this time we'll pause for a special item of music again so just enjoy them so we'll come back as we discuss a little more um i will continue from the vantage point of um sister um Salian's discussion yes. Confusion's my companion And despair holds me for ransom I will feel no fear Cause I know that you are there When caught deep in the valley We dare Find my comfort here 
Thank you so much, Sister and Brother George, for this special music. Thank you for ministering um, to us um, this evening. Again, we're discussing the topic, Too Broken to be a Vessel. Yes. And we were discussing some scenario. Yes. Um, some has been employed with a firm um, for over five years. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the boss catches him stealing. Um, the question is, what would you do if you were the boss? Yes. Um, so let's go to um, Ruth um, Dikoto's, um, yeah. Dikoto Phillips comment. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll go to her first comment So because we want to uh, ensure that we have some discussion. Yes. She says, I don't agree. The Bible says, who God loves, he chastens. Yes. You cannot reward somebody for wrongdoing. It's, it's a, a bad, bad precedent. precedent. Mm -hmm. um, and then she says, other, company, other employees sorry, may think that the boss is unjust mm -hmm. to be promoting an employee who has stolen from him. I believe he was a good worker. He would have redeemed himself and earned earn some trust. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss that because Ruth is bringing um, another caveat. So she is basically saying what I'm getting. She saying, don't promote him. Yes. Yes. I, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm not getting that she's saying fire him, but she's no, not promoting promote him. him. I think uh, what she's trying to say is that um, the boss would have to rebuild that trust in that employee you now. Okay. So what she's saying, he, maybe he would have to remain in the position he is and work to regain the boss's confidence. Okay. So the boss would ob observe him over a period of time. And if, in truth and in fact, he was telling the truth that he would have stolen to help his family, right. then he would remain true. And then after regaining the trust of his employer, then he can be considered for a promotion. Okay. Yes. Now, um, Nadia Julian is saying he should forgive him, but he'll have to talk to him and let him know that stealing is not tolerated. Yes. What if he was really telling the truth? Yeah. And I want to respect both... Um, Sister Ruth Philip and Brother um, <coughs> Rondell Wilson's um, point and opinion. Yes. But we have to always remember, um, as Christians, and we are speaking as in the, from the point of view that you are a Christian boss. Yes. Um, I think um, 
having a meeting with your employees, the whole staff, letting them know that we're not going to tolerate stealing. And that is the best, the best thing to do is to come forward and have a conversation about your situation. Okay. However, we have to realize that you have to do what you have to do. So I respect that you would not promote him, but I would do differently. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I guess every um, boss would handle a, a, a different differently. Yes. And I think people, uh, for, well, for me, I handle situations based upon grace given yes. to me. Yes. And a lot of grace has been given to me. Amen. So I give Amen. a lot of mm -hmm. grace, you know. Um, yeah. So I guess everybody has it differently. Yes. Um, Lena, um, Gilbert, you saying good night, family. From Maribel. Oh, from Maribel. I yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, happy Sabbath. Says. So Maribel is in the house. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's discuss a little more. Um, our topic is to be broken, to too broken, broken to, to be, be a, a vessel. vessel. Yes. Um, a vessel. A container mm -hmm. um, is it useful well I believe it is because it is something that can hold things whether it be liquid or some beautiful flowers that you want to put somewhere for someone to see so a vessel or a container is useful because it holds things okay yes all right so and vessels not every vessel would have the same purpose that is right sir. Um, yes. different purposes Michael Fletcher mm -hmm. is saying promote an employee who has committed and committed and an unjust act, act will only set a bad example for other employees. employees. As, As the boss, your, your actions will mediate how much your employees respect and trust your judgment and doing this will not help. This is a student of mine as well. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, but it, it's uh, an unjust act. Um, yes. But under these circumstances, we're not promoting stealing, mm -hmm. but you have to, um, for example, uh, a man or a woman might go into somebody's land who is very hungry <coughs> and suck a couple of oranges without asking. That's stealing. Mm -hmm. yes. But would you send that person to jail for five years for stealing five oranges? Mm -hmm. And another yeah. man might steal a whole bag and go and sell and sometimes you don't get any punishment. Yeah. So you have, to, the, the, you have to look away the situation yes. and determine um, what. Right. Well, okay. I agree. I ju would just like to add more to your point. Um, yes, um, stealing is wrong and we do not promote stealing as Christians. But what we should do is that we should promote Jesus because, you know, in this situation, Jesus would have done different. Jesus would have forgiven and given that person or Sam a second chance. So we are not promoting stealing. We are just promoting God's love and grace okay. and forgiveness. Yes. All right. Amen. All right, man. You sound, you sound well. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> All right. Now, my um, other question is, <clears throat> we are talking again about too broken to be a vessel. Yes. Can a broken vessel be of any use or value? Yes. All right. And um, when, when I saw the topic, the first thing that came to mind, I think somebody so, um, sent me... I can't remember if it's a WhatsApp or on Messenger. This story of um, a man, a servant, who had uh, these two jars he used to carry water in. Mm -hmm. And um, he would journey down to the river every day with his two jars, one in his left hand, one in his right hand. And the one in the left hand will be filled when they get to, back to the house. But the one on the right was always half. Mm -hmm. And um, the two jars had a, a conversation. And the, the, the jar in the right hand was telling the other one, you're no good, you're of no use to the master. The master have to make more than one trip with you. The barrel load should have been filled by now. Mm -hmm. But because of your brokenness, yes. so the, the jar decided, on the right jar decided, the broken jar, decided to ask the master, why do you still keep me? Mm -hmm. um, and the master replied to him, it's been over two years now that I realized your faults. Mm -hmm. And I have, what I have done, I want you to pay attention to looking at the path from the house to the river and observe it. Mm -hmm. So they went down to the river and 
the parts, the broken parts was paying attention to the parts. Saw a lot of beautiful wild flowers. And he said, but master, we back home and I'm still half empty or half filled. And my colleague here is full. So why do you still keep me? The master replied, did you see where the flowers was located? He said, when I realized you were broken two years ago, I decided to scatter some flower seeds along your path. Your role was to water the seeds so now we have these beautiful flowers. Oh, I'm saying this, the moral behind it is that sometimes you may feel as though you, you have no use. Um, an old car. Mm -hmm. To a human being might pack up by the side of the road, have no use. But to a rat, that's shelter. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so you have to look at what good can you get out of a bad situation. Yes. Right. True. And, and um, I grew up with old people. And they used to always tell me, when you think your situation is bad, look at someone. Take a step back. Mm -hmm. Listen to somebody else. Yeah. And sometimes when you hear what that other person is going through, you realize yours is a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. And in the eyes of God, we are all broken. Yes. We are all sinners. Um, your sin might be, you might look at your sin as something so huge. <coughs> but sin is sin. Yes. It's spelled the same way. S-I-N. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, <coughs> you can be a blessing despite your brokenness. Yes. By telling your story, you, you might just be encouraging somebody who might have been going through similar circumstances or might be contemplating something right. negative that can change that person's life and point of view. Oh, yes. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um, I think somebody was um, discussing... Um, um, adding to our discussion, yes, um, and I think she was saying, Yes, a broken vessel can yeah, be of used use, yes. of, of use. We all are broken vessels, but we have the someone, someone who can, can mind us. Oh, that's uh, powerful. Amen. Amen. His amen. name is Jesus, our yes. Savior. Yeah, amen. And I think yes. that's exactly. a point we're trying to bring across yes, um, this evening. Some persons are sharing on the previous question, we will just Sorry, we read it, but we will not focus because we want to move um, a little further. Yes. Um, Rondell Williams says, I've got, I've got to say that based on the scenario, we are talking about giving a second chance. But in the world, that guy yeah, would, would be, be fired. fired. <laughs> um, allowing him to keep his job is giving him a second chance to get a promotion in the future. And, and also so showing him was. mercy. Yes. But this is grounds for, for firing. firing. We agree with that. Yes. We agree with that. Okay. This is grounds for um, firing. Um, but we are discussing here from a spiritual uh, yes. point of view. That's right. yes. um, Ruth says probably the company had rules. I agree that he should be forgiven, but the consequences remain. Adam and Eve in the, in the garden, garden, and we um, okay. um, agree with Fair that. Yes. All right, so let's go to um, our um, other scenario. It okay. says, um, um, Sister Sabrina, read for us, please. Um, Sarah. Sarah grew up in church and was a very promising young lady. However, with her many struggles of personal issues, she decided to turn to a life of drugs and prostitution. After many years of doing this and encountering near-death incidents, she felt the need to return to church. But how will she deal with the shame of her past? Will they still love her? Knowing her past, will any man want to marry her? All right, good question. Why did this? Because I think um, my wife made a point. I think if I want to go home tonight, I, I, I should do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so um, I understand not firing the employee um, given his past record and the circumstance that may have forced him to steal. But I agree that he should not be promoted. By not firing him, we are already showing the love of God and, and compassion. compassion. But not promoting him, we are... Teaching him. Teaching him the other stuff that unethical practices has consequences. The story of Moses is quite similar. He was not allowed to enter the promised land yeah. because he disobeyed God, but God allowed him to see it before he died. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> That's um, a good point. Yes. Yeah, good point. Good point. Yes. Um, all right. Shima, she may say, I'd rather be a broken, broken vessel in God's hand because he is able, is able to, to mend. Amen. 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 That is solid. Yes. That is. Yes. 
powerful Amen. and Amen. valid. Amen. Um, so therefore, um, an individual like Sarah, uh, Sarah goes, um, very promising in church. Yes. Um, uh, she goes out, um, personal issues. Well, we, we, we wouldn't know her personal issues. But she decided to go into um, a life of prostitution and drugs, um, uh, and drugs. <clears throat> and after many years of selling her body around the place, Green Day is a very small place, so everybody mm -hmm. know her. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, we call her Sheen of Grenada, like Mary Magdala, <laughs> Magdala <laughs> Mary of Magdala. Um, now she comes back to church. Mm -hmm. um, allow me to add some questions. Should we accept her back in church? Yes. Um, we have young people who are growing up. Um, <laughs> is that a question? Well, we discuss it. We, we, <laughs> we discuss it. Hmm. Should we accept her? Is it our place to accept who well, comes on? Who doesn't? Good questions. Good yes. questions. Um, the church is open for anybody Everybody who wants right. to come all to meet with God. Yes. So, all right. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, um, Sarah's past might be out there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but the pastor on the pulpit or the elder with his suit or the sister superintendent, mm -hmm. she may also have, they may also have a past mm -hmm. or yes. even a present that That's nobody it. knows but them and God. Uh -huh. yes, that and, is true. and I think mm -hmm. um, sometimes we, as Christians, we are too quick to judge. Yeah, true. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we look at people without first understanding the situation, the yes. circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody is as strong as you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is why um, Jesus told Peter, asked Peter the question, Peter, lovest thou me? Mm -hmm. right. Three times. Yes. And Peter was getting upset. Mm -hmm. And every time Jesus told him, <coughs> feed my sheep. Okay. Yes. Sir. And right. then later on he told him, Peter, when you are converted, strengthen the brethren. Right. Our role is to help others to the foot of the cross. Okay. Not to drive them away. Look at Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. She was a stalwart for the Lord. Yes. Look at her past. It's similar to that of Sarah. Right. You understand? And who know? Look at Rahab. Mm -hmm. Rahab's name is mentioned oh, yeah. in, in, in Hebrews as a woman of faith. Yes. She was a harlot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? And, she came, and Jesus came through her lineage. And, she's, she, and she was a great, great, great grandmother of Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> so who are we to judge? judge. Yep. Yes. And Pastor, yep. I just want to make a point. I would have fallen away from the faith. And um, in deciding to come back, one of my greatest fears was thinking, what would the people say? Would they All treat right. me differently? And in praying and talking to God, I saw that if I were to think that way, I wouldn't go back. Exactly. Right. right? Okay. And then in going back and communicating with persons in the church, you know, we may see, we may say the people are, um, they might talk about us and so on. But when you communicate, you realize that they really care about you mm -hmm. and they really want you to come back and they encourage you. So, um... Yes, as somebody falling away, we may think, as in Sarah's case, she may be thinking, will the people accept me? I've mm -hmm. done so many bad things. But once you put your trust in God and you realize that God is there to help you, you will go back. All and right. You realize that the people is not even thinking that about your past, but they are looking to help you towards your future. All right. Yes. So I want to ask Sister Sabrina a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you have two sons. Yes. If one of your sons was to come to you and say, I like Sarah, I want her to be my wife, <laughs> knowing her past, what would be your, your reaction? And, and also, I'll ask him the same question, if, it, uh, if yeah. you have children. No, if Sarah comes to him. <laughs> right. Will he marry Sarah? Yes. <laughs> but what he thinks, let's... Well, <laughs> um, the Sabrina before, I would have been very angry. I'll be like, well, are you bringing this young lady to my house? But the Sabrina now, yes, I would accept her once. She has truly repented. And I see that she has changed and she has something to do for the Lord. Yes, I would accept her. As okay. your daughter in law? Yes. Okay. All right. Because as I said, I have fallen away. I've been there. I know what it's like to be out in the world. Mm -hmm. And to... I know what it's like when some people will see you as uh, not being fit, right. right? But when you meet Jesus and he changes your life, 
you are a new person. And Amen. 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 And that's yes. powerful. But just before Linda tells us if you'll marry Sarah, <laughs> let's get some <laughs> um, questions, have some yes. comments on the screen. Um, Michael Fletcher is saying, can somebody read for us? He's saying, God is love, regardless of past mistakes and compromises that might have pulled us away from his fold. Once we return with a willing heart and mind, he will be pleased. And as Christians, we should project what he would do. Consequently, I think we should accept someone of such background without a doubt. Her past is her past. Mm -hmm. We are not to judge. Amen. As God said, we have all fell short and sinned against him. Sure. Amen. Sure. Amen. Mm -hmm. And there sure. might be other comments. Go to say the church is a hospital, hospital for yes. the spiritually sick. sick. Yes. Yes. And I, yes. I remember yes. Cody yes. says the church is a hospital for sinners, yes. not a club for sins. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Um, Patricia says, we are not, not God. God. Who gives, gives us, us the, the authority, authority to, to judge? judge. Yes. Amen. Rhonda Wilson said, "The sister is right. A lot of us are too judgmental. We look at people with, with condemnation, mm -hmm. but, but many, many of us might have never been in the same situation, situation as the individual, and some of us might have done worse." True. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wendy Phillips says, "An important question, like the master asked when the woman was caught in adultery: mm -hmm. He who is without sin cast the, the first stone." stone. Where are the dying, dying accusers? accusers. Yes. Ruth uh, is saying the truth is that we are more oh, broken, broken than, than Sarah. Sarah. Exactly. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Wendy is saying, uh, hi, hi, good night. Nice. <laughs> uh, Shama, who without sin cast a first stone? Uh -huh. um, all right. Wendy's so saying. thank you for your comments. You could yes. share with us a little more. Mm -hmm. But again, you see, this thing of genuine Christianity, um, for me, it is something that is that should be practical. Practiced, yes. Yeah, practice. practical. Okay, so Lyndon, tell us tonight. Well, would I marry Sarah? Uh -huh. um, I could marry Sarah. Yeah, I, 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 you but could. I listen. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the fact okay. he said he could. I could All marry right. Sarah. Uh -huh. But I will have to go through a process. All right. Okay. Wow. The process is dating. All so right. I wouldn't just go to Sarah and say, would you marry me? I would ask, well, I wouldn't ask Sarah to go on a date with her. Well, I could, but I mean, I would, okay, well, I will ask Sarah to go on a date with her, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, and, you know, and your principal is watching, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, <miss. laughs> um, I will date Sarah and see what type of person she is. If she had um, truly repented to God and um, confessed her sins, I would see it through the process of dating. I will see what qualities Sarah has. Mm -hmm. And if she has qualities that is similar as Christ's qualities, then yes, I could. Or maybe I will marry Sarah. Right. Well, good answer. Yes. Um, good answer. Good answer. Yes. yes. Um, we have Davia says, mm -hmm. why? Uh, <laughs> just speaking of. What is the reality of today's truth? Mm -hmm. As Christians, we don't look at the heart of the person and seek to understand them and help them on their journey. Instead, we judge. Yes. Which we shouldn't be doing. Yes. Um, which means we need, as Christians, to transform our minds, renew Amen. our minds, mm -hmm. and cast away flesh and live by the Spirit. True. This will help us have a better view of Sarah. Yes. And, and notice... Um, Miss Palmer, as a counselor, I saw something here um, that a lot of people will miss. It says that Sarah, and that's a solid point, huh? yes, as, but yes. I'll just bring yes. something I saw based upon that point, that Sarah had personal issues. Yes, yes. So maybe yes. Sarah, we don't know, maybe what? Sarah was molested yeah, by exactly. her, you know, uh -huh. family member. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Sarah went through some difficult challenges and she got no help. Sure. And she began to rebel. Mm -hmm. And some of us, we do things in rebellion and we go too far. True. And it's more difficult to, to come back. And that's why we must never judge anyone's journey. Yes. yes. You know? We must never judge anyone's I, I, I think that's a um, solid, solid, solid point. Mm -hmm. All right, so. And let's Nazi is saying um, it's quite easy to cast judgment on other persons. However, there are times when we need to do some self-analysis, and I agree with that. Yes, we may not have left the church, but some of our action may well be worse than Sarah's True. or any other person who may have fallen away from the truth. 
and at some point at some point or another and Amen. as you're correct yes. sometimes we um we see things and you know pastor sometimes we judge people based on what others say mm -hmm. you don't even force getting to yes. know you just yes, hear story, yes. the story yes, yes, and yes, you yes, run yes, with it yes. and yes. you start to condemn mm -hmm. so uh or because um you and sister x is good friend in the church and sister x come and tell you that sister x does not lie mm -hmm. so you believe everything yes. sister x would have said about sarah or the other person and sometimes it's so far from the truth. Yeah, and you can correct. Yeah. And then that's what worst thing people could do is to judge you based upon somebody else's opinion of you. Of yes. you. All right, so let me ask a question. I think that will help. And I need you, our viewing audience, to help us answer this question. I need your help. Please. Now, what advice can you give to someone who wishes to heal from the broken path? So whether it is a serious situation whatever the person's situation the person is broken but they want to they want healing they are seeking healing what advice would you give to that person well for me i would like to share two quotes before i give them the advice it says broken crayons still color yeah. and every saint has a past Every sinner has a future. Amen. Amen. Right? And Rich. even though we may fall short of the glory of God, He has assured us that once we are, we come back to Him and we are true in our repentance, mm -hmm. He can forgive us. God has a purpose for each and every one of our lives. When He created us, He created us with a purpose. And we may feel like, you know, there is no tomorrow for us. But once we look up to Jesus, the author and finisher of, of our faith, faith, right? He will lead us. He will direct us. And he will give us a purpose that will allow us to live day by day with that blessed hope that at the end we have done our best and that we can see. So I just want to encourage our young people out there, all our believers that hold on to Jesus. Yes, you fall today, you fall tomorrow. God is there to pick you up and to help you on your way. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's solid advice. That's solid advice. Uh -huh. And a lot of persons, when they're broken, I think what the devil does to us, when we are broken, he gets us to a point where, where he makes us believe that we are lost. We yes, are not sure. Yes, um, yes, we yes. can't um, recover from that one. We can't survive from that one. True. We cannot be used um, by him. You know, that kind of... But let's get some... Um, um, I love what Wendy Phillips says. Yes. 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 Um, making reference to yes it. she said we need to really carefully look at the 12 broken vessels ah. that jesus kept closest oh, to him the them. more i look at them the more i realize how much he loves us amen amen amen, amen. 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 and yes. as he's saying um jesus has warned us in the bible not to judge yes. lest we ourselves be, be judged, be judged. Um, um and pastor in line with the question that you asked what help mm -hmm. um now in Grenada in our society we have a lot of professionals right. that we okay. can even though we ourselves may not be able to handle situations when they are brought to us mm -hmm. we can refer right. persons who feel depressed who feel broken who yes. feel worthless mm -hmm. we can really offer them some help yes. and exactly. sometimes it's best that you you refer people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um because sometimes what we may say or do might cause more harm. Yes, true. Yes, so yes, yes, it's yes, best yes. to to um refer to refer them. Yeah. Um self disclosure works, but you have to know um how much you should disclose. True. For example, Sabrina's story. Um to a young lady who may have gone through similar something as what she went through, mm -hmm. you can say, Hey, I've been there and I felt just the way you're feeling. But right. you know what? I trust God. Yes. I claim his promises. Mm -hmm. And today, I'm not feeling like that anymore. And she can say, you know what? When you're feeling down, you can always call me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Off her shoulder. And yes. sometimes, it's much, it, it goes a long way than asking the person to pour out. Mm -hmm. A lot of our young persons, their heart is kind of difficult for them to trust, yes. trust. because they sometimes they tell they trust somebody and they tell them and in two minutes Everybody somebody else knows. come and tell them the story yes. yeah. so as christians we have to be trustworthy people people with confidence mm -hmm. knowing that when somebody come to us 
pray with them, yes. pray right. for them, yes. encourage yes. them in the Lord. Right. Ask yes. yourself if that was my son or my daughter, would I? What would I like for them? If it True. was me, always put yourself in somebody else's shoe, and then you might be able to. to yes. Yeah. And and the idea of not um, um self disclosing to. Um, somebody's not a professional. Um, too much, I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, yes. um, and our churches should be, um, our support in our churches should be well supported, like women's ministries yeah. and yes, so forth. Yes, yes, um, yes. Men's ministries, they should be um, solid support groups. Yes. And um, reading God's word is important. Yes. Um, Praise is important, that is right. but there are also added to that the practicality of it, yes. where you yes. get professional yes. help is yes. tremendously, tremendously important. Yes. And even if you cannot afford, um, and sometimes it's a good investment if it's difficult, but you can't afford to go to a counselor, um, I'm not sure if the ministry would have counselors that they provide. Um, yes. All schools, well, all schools would primary have, and secondary, right? Would have um, counselors. Yeah. Um, you can go to your pastor. Yes. Um, he can give you a level of help, but you also have to refer you if it's a yes. you know right. kind of thing. Yes. But seek help from um, from those persons, counselors, pastors, um, and so forth. And remember that God is willing to forgive. Yes, amen. From the guttermost, He'll take us to the uppermost. Mm -hmm. God is willing to change us. And I think He has a PhD for lack of a better ah. um, um, <laughs> phrase yes. in changing sinners um, to saints. Right, so let's take about three or four comments and then we will um, wrap up. Um, Shima says, we must point them to Jesus because he is able to do something that we cannot do. True. Um, David says, my advice, I would say to this person that Jesus loves them so much, not with conditional, but with unconditional love. Though you have a particular situation, it seems like you cannot recover, but we are all broken. Amen. You and me. Jesus hates sin, sin but, but he loves, loves the sinner, sinner. and he is ready to accept you as you uh, are to make, make you a whole vessel. vessel. Yes, this is only possible if you are ready to trust God and, and not your, your brokenness. brokenness. Yes. That is important yes. because our brokenness can get us to the place where we become immobile. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you yes, know? yes. Uh, um, Grace James says, we may have done things unknown to others, but God and He has forgiven us. The church is not ours, so we can determine who should come in the church. I agree. But in a place where we make a public statement that is a, that will change her life. Okay. Therefore, she's coming for Therefore support. Therefore, she's coming for support. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, to All right. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, Naz is saying... One final, yeah. One final. Yes. Excellent advice, sis, sister. Just to add, while we advocate that God is love and God is great, merciful and kindness, we need to also advise persons not to remain in a fallen state. Yes. Or a state of sinfulness. Amen. Once you have fallen, you recognize your mistakes and ask God for forgiveness. There is a need to make a conscious effort to avoid situations that will encourage you to mm -hmm. fall. Far um, too often, people take comfort in the fact that God is merciful and He will forgive and become complacent. That must not be seen as an excuse. Um, excellent point. Excellent point. And we support that. And we always remember that a saint is a sinner who falls down, but yet um, gets back up. My friend, we have stories, countless stories, but one I would like to end on tonight is that of the prodigal son. Yes. He messed up. Mm -hmm. um, but the father took him back yes. and that reminds us of what God can do for us Amen. doesn't matter what you would have done or what I would have done the truth is some of us we know about each other's sins some yes. of us we don't know about it True. but regardless of where we are where we have gone we have a great savior Amen. who is willing to pick us up clean us up and set us back um, on the right road. And like my sister said, um, what he said to the lady is go and sin no, no more. Yes. Tonight as we end, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Um, panelists, we really appreciate your presence. Um, you. We really appreciate the discussion. Mm -hmm. I think we had a, 
a, a, a, a spiritual a, a, a discussion that was on a spiritual level and thank you um so much but tonight before we leave we would like ask linda to pray for us we'd like to pray for somebody who believes that they were broken and that God cannot forgive them. We want to pray for somebody who needs Jesus. And again, pray for all of us because we all need the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Um, let us pray. Our God and our Father, Lord, I thank you for the day that we have gone through today, our Father. Lord, I thank you for this healthy discussion we have just had. Oh God. Lord, as we're about to leave as to please guide us and please protect us lord there is someone out in this world who is who consider themselves as a broken vessel of father lord i ask you to please take that individual those individual and please mend them because i know that you have a purpose for every one of them lord i ask you to please be them in a very special way please guide them please be their family oh father Lord, I ask you to please be with us also. Please help us to leave an, as an example to you. And uh, please help that someone who is looking at us, that their life may be changed. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for watching. See you next week. Same place and same time. Amen.
for me They say my everyone And lead others to trust and love you more